Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this finally Friday, the end of the work week here. It is uh, June 6th, or June 9th, excuse me, 2023, about 11.52 a.m. here along the West Coast. Uh, latest activity looks like some movement. Uh, let's see, round and round we go into the Alaska area with a 2.0, about 116 kilometers deep there little cluster of activity kicking up into that region overnight also some deeper earthquake activity here across the um, northern portion here of the Mariana Trench with that 4.6 this one's pretty new as you can see here on the globe the eastern edge here of the Filipino plate watch for some further uh, possible movement here considering this deeper activity here recently uh, USGS not reporting anything yet from that deep earthquake but I'm sure they will get to it uh, overnight, still seeing a little bit of activity up here into the Aleutian Trench region uh, around the Rat Islands, just outside of the Anchor Point, Alaska Air. Well, let's see here. Anchor Point's way over here. That's some of the newer activity kicking up, but far specifically around the Rat Islands area. A um, little bit of movement overnight, as you can see. 3.5 and uh, some previous earthquake activity there. Uh, also around the northern edge here of the Kuro Kamachaka Trench, we did see some movement kicking in yesterday as well. Doesn't look like we've seen anything further overnight in this area, though. Uh, down south, a little bit further south, uh, close to the Japan area, 4.6 came in, about 53 kilometers deep. Another earthquake here from yesterday, 200 kilometer deep, 4.9. That was from uh, yesterday afternoon, just about ready to drop off the map. Uh, let's see what we got overnight as far as any large scale activity goes. Go ahead and check out this region. Looks like uh, Indonesia area still showing some uptick in activity. Uh, Afghanistan getting in on some deeper movement activity as well. Looks like uh, 4.0, 171 kilometers deep up here, a little bit of uh, earthquake activity over the last 24 and down here into the mid Indian Ridge this one came in late last night looks like a 4.9 let's see what we have here for the earthquake 3d globe a little bit of activity across the Java Trench here off the coast of Sumatra 4.6 fairly uh, recent earthquake there's that activity in eastern Afghanistan and the Mediterranean region looks fairly active here today and overnight with uh, general aftershock activity around Turkey and uh, kind of following this plate boundary here. Uh, 5.3 out into the Atlantic Ocean. USGS is reporting this earthquake here. 5.3 came in about 4.30 in the morning or so, 10 kilometers deep uh, for that earthquake. South America, one lonesome earthquake. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, looks a little bit more quieter today. Uh, some smaller quake activity though, still continuing across the South America region. Uh, do have a 4.4 coming in right now to the, uh, looks like a portion of the Middle America Trench, 4.4 and a 3.1. Uh, it's gonna be this activity off the coast here of uh, Nicaragua area, maybe El Salvador region. Showing slight elevated activity here in the last couple hours. Uh, the latest one, though, shows a 4.4 within the last couple hours here. Uh, just into the southern end, southern end here of the Middle America Trench. Puerto Rico area also getting some activity up around the Puerto Rico Trench. A little scattered out there today, but still uh, getting a little mix of deep and shallow earthquake activity. Uh, let's see here, across the Tonga region, Fiji, and New Zealand down here. Looks like New Zealand got 3.0 coming in to the area. Let me check these guys out here real quick and see uh, what's cooking down there in New Zealand. Of course, we did have uh, a couple fours yesterday kicking up around the Hawke's Bay area. <coughs> uh, for the most part, though, today, things look uh, somewhat minimal. There's that 3.0. Uh, about 24 minutes ago into the Kermadec Trench, 187 kilometers deep. A glance here at the earthquake drums. Well, not a whole lot going on overnight, looks like. Uh, I'm not seeing anything major. There's a 
Looks like a little bit of activity South Island here. All right, uh, let's jump into the states here and see what we have going on. Keeping an eye up here on the Northern California region uh, with some continued deeper activity up here across the southern edge here of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, this is actually a, a Mendocino triple point area with the Cascadia, uh, the Pacific plate here to the south, and the North American plate here, uh, basically known as the Mendocino triple point junction area. A lot takes place here, and there is a looks like a little bit of elevated activity here uh, in the last couple days, and uh, that is continuing obviously, as you can see here on the map, into today. So, we'll continue to watch that uh, area of Northern California for some movement. Uh, 2.4 just outside of Mount Rainier, that one coming in yesterday. Let's go back down here to California and see what we have going on. Um, See if we got anything noteworthy to chat about besides the Cascadia there. It looks like a little bit of elevated activity uh, crops across this creeping segment here. That's actually the name that they post here, the San Andreas Fault Zone creeping segment. That uh, is due to, well, it's got uh, a lot of creep going on uh, with it, so to speak, in plate tectonic terms. Uh, it doesn't really build up a lot of stress or strain similar to other segments of the plate boundary. It's always got a little bit of um, movement going on with it. And uh, occasionally we do see some, uh, some earthquake activity on it, of course, with it moving like that. Latest one shows a 2.4 near the Pinnacles area. Uh, again, with that little line of activity on that segment. Los Angeles, what we've got going on out here. Most of this is from yesterday up here into the mountains near the uh, Sierra Madre area. Uh, one earthquake in the last hour here near the Yucca Valley. That's uh, around the San Bernardino mountain range. No major swarm activity going on there across California for now. Uh, rest of the country here looks fairly quiet. Very minimal movement taking place out across the rest of the uh, states there. Continue to watch this. Just a little bit of Earthquake activity here and there. Again, nothing major overnight, uh, but we will watch for some regions uh, around the deeper earthquake activity zones. That includes Mariana Trench uh, and the Filipino Plate here. All right, space weather activity. I'll jump into that. I'm just going to make this a quick short update. Looks like we did have an M flare kicking up. Um, an M, is that going to be a 2.5? Kind of looks like it's up to around 2.5. Um, let's see here, somewhere around there. From 3331, looks like a far side sunspot here. Uh, just getting a little glimpse of it. Going to be this sunspot region down here. Looks fairly calm. Well, can't really tell if it's complex yet or not. Let me see here what we got for the magnetic structure. 3331, latest image here. Uh, definitely does have some potential. Uh, for some further flaring that and along with this uh, sunspot that's currently directly facing Earth. So we got two of these we got to watch here uh, for some flaring. It looks like 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, X flare uh, still somewhat elevated at about 5% chance there uh, from those uh, mentioned sunspots. And, of course, uh, no major changes there to the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Things are fairly green in terms of the lack of activity. All right, weather outlook here for today. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, a little slight risk category here across portions of uh, Kansas, Colorado, and the Panhandle there around the Oklahoma area. Uh, nothing major, it looks like. Looks like maybe just some wind. That's about it. Tomorrow, a little bit different story there into the uh, Texas area, it looks like, with a slight risk of tornado probability there around Dallas. Uh, I think the main threat for this is going to be some large hail and uh, some damaging wind gusts from, the, uh, from those thunderstorms. All right, folks, um, have yourself a wonderful Friday. We'll be back here a little bit later on tonight with the nightly update. Enjoy your... Uh, Enjoy your Friday. Weekend is upon us. 
Have a good one.